Good evening everybody, this is Fader from the Eidolons, and I'm just making this video to basically cover over some of the changes that have happened with Sky Fortress Bahamut since my last video. Um, as you can probably see straight ahead, uh, my house has undergone some pretty drastic changes, going from cobblestone and wood to quartz and nether brick. Um, another slight change, I just did this for the heck of it the other day. Uh, we got a few maps around here just to, just to kind of take a look at the area around. Um, so stepping out of the pagoda, um, really not too much apart from my house and a few other things have changed with the main dome itself. Um, we got rid of the old farm that was over here. Um, and it has since been replaced with housing for other players, uh, as has over here. Um, over here there once was a sort of pillared structure that uh, one of our other players uh, used to use as his home of sorts, um, but since he is no longer part of the faction at the moment, his house has since been removed. If he decides to rejoin, we'll probably rebuild his house, make, make be, maybe even make it out of something even better. Um, so apart from that, and we might even have to label these houses as well soon with some signs, um, not really all too much has been changed. Um, though this over here, Solstice Winters, did add. It's just a nice little um, light-powered, well, light. Basically when the sun goes down there is a daylight sensor on top that will deactivate the piston inside there pulling the redstone block up thus activating the redstone lamps. Just a neat little thing that he made and I figure it gets his due credit. Um, one of the major points of interest from my last video that was only really showcased at the very end was Sky Garden Eden, as seen here. Yes, we are naming it Eden for several entendre. Uh, we have since refilled it with animals due to a recent raid. Thankfully they really weren't able to do anything and it really came off mostly as laughable apart from us having to get the animals again. Um, upstairs we have automatic farms here for melons and pumpkins. I don't remember exactly if those were in the last video or not. I'm thinking they were. I think I think I got about this far up and we didn't really have too much up here, just the beginnings of this, in which we have potatoes and carrots and wheat across over there. Uh, last point of interest up here is basically the top floor of Sky Garden Eden in which we have our own little gazebo that uh, Stonebreaker has made. Um, in fact he just made it the other day. He also created this automatic sugarcane farm, automatic cocoa bean farm which has a nice little artistic flair making it kinda look like a jungle in a way. And then Solstice Winters also made the automatic uh, cactus farm here. So, just a few auto farms that we placed up here. And, um, really, that's about it, I think. Um, oh no, uh, there's a little bit of changes with the underdome. That is, in fact, what we are calling it. Just kind of started off as a little bit of a nickname just for the heck of it, and it kind of grew on us, so. Um, we do, in fact, have one sheep for every color here, just because we wanted to. Um, going back up, and then subsequently down. Uh, my sister has since built a small house down here. And we also have temporary housing for a few small animals just as a small shelter to keep them safe until uh, until we need them. Basically our backup animals. We don't have any pigs unfortunately due to uh, every pig that we tried to bring here ended up 
dying in one way or another. Comical and sad, but we weren't able to bring home the bacon, so to speak. So that's pretty much it for Sky Fortress Bahamut at the moment. As new changes come, we may uh, make more videos here. Uh, if you are not part of Land of Blocks Minecraft server, please feel free to join. We would appreciate it if you did. We would also appreciate it if you donated or liked the server. Uh, any support you can give is well deserved and well wanted. So uh, this is Fader signing off.